I'm working on it. Go work on it. Go do it. I am working. I am doing it. I'm sorry. Get in the hair and do it. I, I, I'll I be am... up all night with you if I have to. What's happening? What's going on? Oh my god. The end of the world's coming. Eve of World War Three. All the signs. Trump bombing. Syria threatening and threatening North Korea. All these signs are pointing to one thing. Disney's Rogue One, a Star Wars story, is out on Blu-ray. Yes, that cinematic atrocity is on. The small screen. Oh God, the humanity! Oh, where do I begin? What's wrong with this movie? Oh, Disney, what have you done? Oh, the acting is just terrible and cringy. The the blind samurai Jedi guy. Oh God, when he makes that chant, I'm the, with the force. With the force with me. With the force with me. I'm with the force. I'm with the force with me. Oh God, that was so cringy and stupid. Forrest Whitaker's character. I can barely understand what that guy says. And what's up with him? Breathing from a gas mask. Getting high on helium or something. <coughs> like he's Dennis Hopper's character. Uh, from David Lynch's Blue Velvet. Frank Booth. And when he was doing that front of Jenna Russell. I thought I was expecting him to do this. Mommy! Mommy! Baby wants to fuck! Don't you fucking look at me! Don't you fucking look at me! And punches generous on the face. Just like Frank Booth from David Lynch's Blue Belt. This will sound every three seconds unless something isn't okay! Turn it off, Homer! It can't be turned off! <laughs> but it uh, does break easily. Still not good. And anyone who says he's in the same league as Emperor Palpatine and Darth Vader, they're out of their fucking minds. The reprogrammed Imperial droid is the most human and the most likable character in the whole movie, and he's a droid. The CGI characters, Grandma of Tarkin and Princess Leia, they're just terrible, especially Princess Leia. I mean, Princess Leia looked like she just came out of that game. Mask, uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. Mass Effect Andromeda! Anyone who knows that game knows how crappy the, the graphics are. And Leia looks like she belongs in that game. For a, a movie made in 2016, a big budget movie from a big company like Disney, this is embarrassingly bad. Oh, God. It, it, and this movie contradicts Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones and Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope. It was the Geonosians who designed the Death Star, not Jen Orso's father, Galen Orso, who by the way his first name was stolen from Galen Ma Malik, also known as Star Killer from the Force Unleashed games. If you've seen anyone who's seen Attack of the Clones in life, it was the Geonosians who designed the Death Star. This is the LSPD! Clear the area! Now! The Death Star plans to come to Dooku, which he lay around gave it to Palpatine in the end of the movie. In A New Hope, it was stated that the Death Star was only used once on older run. But Rogue One, because of Rogue One, now it looks like it was used twice before on Scarif and Jedha. And speaking of the Death Star, there are some scenes that the Death Star is upside down. The laser cannon's on the wrong side. What's up with that? Does the Death Star travel like this? 
It's so stupid. So, so, such details. No, they don't care. Disney don't care. I bet if George Lucas were still involved, he would take care of details like that. Oh, God. <clears throat> and... And also, and also the, the there are suicide bombers and kamikaze pilots in the rebellion. Yes, a hammerhead cruiser does a kamikaze attack on two star destroyers. And there was a suicide bomber in the battle with Jeddah. He he, has, he was in the river. Real life terrorists, and that's outright insidious. What the fuck is going on with Disney? We're giving you insidious messages like that. Oh god, it's just so wrong. Oh god. Oh, and this movie rips off so much from Dark Forces. An old game from MS DOS from 1995. You see, Jin Orso is a mashup of two characters, Kyle Katam and Jin Orso. Uh, Jin Ors. Disney, it, all they've been doing lately is stealing other people's ideas and making horrible remakes of their animated movies. They're pretty much, there's gonna be, all their animated movies are gonna be remade into live action movies. They said it, and it's fucking terrible. Oh God! There's even gonna be a movie of each segment from the Tales of Forty. I bet it's gonna suck. Oh God! Anyway, this is just terrible. Oh, oh God! Oh God! This movie is just bad. Don't go see this movie. Just watch a long play of Dark Forces. You'll get a better movie out of that one. Out of a long play video. Of a video game from 1995. Oh my god. This movie is... That uh, the characters are dead. They'll die in the end and I won't see them again. But this is Disney. They don't give a shit about continuity. They're gonna break. They're gonna bring them back somehow, without any proper explanation. So expect Universal to come back to life in Episode Eight, The Last Jedi. I have no faith in this franchise. I expect Episode Eight, The Last Jedi, to suck. I expect Episode Nine to suck. I expect the Han Solo movie to suck. I don't see Star Wars after 2020. It's gonna be a burnout because the damn franchise is getting progressively worse by the year. The only thing I can say that Rogue One has better over the likes of Episode 7, The Forest Awakens, is the fact that, that uh, at least the budget looks like it's, it's bigger, the sets are better, and it doesn't, and it takes place in a big galaxy, not in a small cramped solar system. But that's it! Oh, yeah, and the scene was and the scenes where Darth Vader's killing the the rebels in the end was okay. But that's it! Rogue One is just bad. It's different bad from The Force Awakens, but still bad. It's still not good. Oh, man. Oh man, all the humanity. Oh God. Rogue One. A Star Wars story. No! No! Shut that goddamn thing off!